You are walking through your day as usual, but something shifts. Maybe it's a sight, a smell, or a sound that triggers a deep urge inside you. You're suddenly overwhelmed by the need to repeat something you know isn't good for you, but you can't resist. You might wonder, why can't I stop? Well, it is always easy to judge addiction based on what we see on the outside, but what if I told you there is more to it than what we see? The answer lies deep within your brain. In this video, I will show you how exactly an addicted brain works. Misconceptions about addiction. For a long time, addiction was misunderstood. People thought it was a sign of weakness, a moral failing, or a simple lack of willpower. But now we know the truth. Addiction is a disease, one that physically changes the structure of the brain. When someone becomes addicted, they lose control over their ability to stop doing or using something, even when they know it's harmful. It's not just about poor choices. It's about how the brain itself has been altered. To truly understand how addiction works, we need to start with the brain's natural reward system. In the beginning, the brain's reward system evolved to help us survive. Whenever we did something essential for our well-being, like eating, bonding, or learning, our brain released a small but satisfying burst of a chemical called dopamine. This dopamine gave us a little jolt of pleasure, encouraging us to repeat the same behavior again in the future. It's the brain's way of saying, that felt good, do it again. For instance, imagine finishing a task and feeling accomplished. That's dopamine at work, reinforcing a positive behavior. Dopamine also acts on parts of the brain responsible for memory and movement, helping us remember which actions are beneficial for survival. It's like having an internal guide that directs us toward things that help us thrive. How addiction hijacks the brain. But here's where things take a dangerous turn. Addictive substances and behaviors hijack this natural reward system. Every addictive substance, whether it's alcohol, nicotine, or drugs, produces a massive surge of dopamine, far more than what the brain would release from natural rewards. Imagine someone trying a drug like cocaine for the first time. Their brain's reward system gets flooded with dopamine, and it feels euphoric. But here's the catch. The amount of dopamine released by the drug is 10 times higher than any natural reward. Over time, nothing else compares. The brain begins to crave that extreme high again and again, and nothing in everyday life can satisfy that urge anymore. Why more is never enough. As addiction develops, something called tolerance kicks in. The more frequently someone uses an addictive substance, the more their brain adapts to the constant flood of dopamine. The brain starts to reduce its sensitivity to dopamine by decreasing the number of dopamine receptors available in the reward system. This is the brain's attempt to balance itself out, but it has a devastating effect. Now, the person needs more of the substance to feel the same high they did before. The brain's reward system has been rewired, and the normal dopamine levels that once made them feel good aren't enough anymore. This is why people addicted to substances often increase their use over time, chasing that elusive, euphoric high that once came so easily. How addiction affects decision-making. It's not just the reward system that's affected by addiction. Dopamine plays a role in other critical brain functions, like decision-making, memory, and judgment. As addiction progresses, these areas of the brain also become disrupted. Think of the brain as a well-oiled machine. In someone without addiction, the brain's different regions work together, making choices based on rational thought and long-term goals. But in an addicted brain, the circuits involved in decision-making start to malfunction. The individual's behavior becomes driven by habit rather than conscious thought, almost like a reflex. Drug-seeking or substance-using behaviors feel automatic, like something the person can't control. This is why addiction is so powerful. It's no longer just a choice. It's an automatic, deeply ingrained pattern in the brain. Breaking free. Breaking free from addiction is one of the hardest battles a person can face because it's not just about stopping a habit. It's about rewiring the brain. The good news is that the brain is incredibly adaptable. With the right treatment and support, it can begin to heal. The process is slow, and there are often setbacks, but recovery is possible. In the early stages of recovery, 
The brain starts to relearn how to find pleasure in everyday life again. Things like spending time with loved ones or enjoying a favorite hobby. But the brain will also battle powerful cravings along the way as those automatic reflexive behaviors try to pull the person back into addiction. Understanding that addiction is a physiological disease, not a moral failure, is crucial in helping people get the treatment they need. The stigma surrounding addiction, this idea that it's a lack of willpower or self-control, only makes it harder for individuals to seek help. But when we look at the science, it's clear addiction rewires the brain, affecting everything from decision-making to memory. By removing the stigma and treating addiction like the disease it is, we can create a more supportive environment for recovery. The brain's ability to adapt and heal offers hope for those struggling with addiction. But it starts with understanding the story of how addiction truly works in the brain. If you found this video helpful, imagine how much more you can learn by checking out our other content. And be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on this video. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.